So I want you to just let us know a little, I don't know if they told you, it's about just what did you think of tonight's event and then what really was a standout moment for you, okay? So that's basically it. All right. So, sir, what did you think of this evening's event? I thought it was a classy show, right? Um, very great to be able to recognize the achievements of the past and the achievements of the young, right? Which will encourage others to, to follow in their footsteps. Some of it is inspirational to see what they've done. I mean, my big um, movement point was the market, market movers. I had no idea that such a, uh, an, an entrepreneur had emerged in Trinidad and was so far so successful in the business. And I congratulate the, the young people for, the, for their effort, right? But the great thing of all was um, Adam uh, uh, Stewart and his speech, which is a transformational opportunity for Tobago, right? Tobago needs to seize this opportunity that is there for them to get into tourism in, in a critical mass um, manner that will bring the kind of airlift, that will bring other um, uh, hospitality um, providers into Tobago. So it really is transformational. So whatever has to be done should be done quickly. Tobago is certainly not the only opportunity that is available to Sandals. There are many other opportunities. I'm very much aware of the Sandals uh, ambitious plans, but, uh, but you need to move and be uh, aggressive in getting uh, the, the project moving, right? Now, you've been in the financial industry for many years. When you hear recession now, when everyone is, especially young people who are trying to develop their ideas, what do you have to say to them? Well, I, I always have a statement that says, nil illegitimae carborundum which is Latin for meaning, never let the bastards get you down, right? So don't be disheartened. It's, it's a rearranging of, of, this, of the situation. And in that rearranging that is going on, opportunities arise. Believe in yourself, work hard, and you will achieve your goals. One last question. Uh, This what more can you see them doing with an event like this? Like, I mean, creating perhaps think tanks or creating opportunities for young people? Well, I, I think the Chamber, as the spokesperson for the private sector, could play a more direct role in um, helping the country move forward, right? Um, leadership is a very important ingredient for transformation and you can't lead, leave leadership alone to the politicians. The private sector needs to be there constantly telling the politicians what it is they want and what goals need to be achieved and they need to be far more articulate and persistent in their views so that the kinds of results that the private sector expects out of the political body right, will be achieved. So, okay. Thank you so much. Enjoy.